now I've got the problem again. What I did was I went to close folder down here. I closed it and then I went straight back uh, back to the well uh, let's do it again. I'll show you what I did. I did close folder and it went back to normal after a bit and then I went open folder and then I went back to my tech test And then I went to STEC and it says initializing Rust Tech. And that usually completes okay. And then it starts indexing tech files and it's as if that's the stuff that I downloaded. But it's only starting indexing text files. But typically this thing never completes, so at the moment it's it's fifteen eighteen, fifteen nineteen, so I'll pause for a minute. Now that was two or three minutes and it's now fifteen twenty two and it's still starting STEC MMT indexing tech files. So the problem seems to be that something that happens only when you reopen, not the when the first time you open the project, when it builds them from scratch, things go okay, but then it's the when you open it a second time it's doing something different because it's just they're all already set up and it's building some sort of index um, and then it seems to hang there are some notifications but i don't think they're relevant all it says is that Why is this, 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 this graphic, is this supposed to mean something? Up and down. Down means it's down, up means it's up. Okay, that's what that means. It's not a command, it's a status. But th this, this catches me all the time. I don't know why, it's the way my brain works. I don't know whether buttons are commands or status. And, and and there must be some fluidity in it because otherwise I would just automatically know that that meant you can take this you if you click the, that means that if you click this up arrow you will get the thing underneath sometimes you get on off buttons that are blue or white and when you click them on they go blue and, and there's just not been no anyway it's just making everything harder for for, for, for people
I guess because nobody really cares because everyone knows what it is. But I can't make this work and I, and I don't have enough information. There's no, there's no terminal that I can open that I know of that will tell me what's going on. I've tried opening all sorts of windows and they're all kind of empty. Um, view. This gives you this bewildering list of things that you can open. Problems, output, but, but none of them seem to have anything in them. That's something to do with debugging code. I don't know. Um, it's got a terminal here. That's just a terminal output problems ports port forwarding what is this thing what what is this code this i d e supposed to be it's they're trying to make it an entire operating system. World domination. Everybody's at it. And nobody wants to talk. Now I've got that waiting, but I don't have this job running anymore, whatever that was. Oh, there it is, it's come back. You would think that clicking on this, that just opens the notification. That's why it went, because that means go away completely. And that... I don't know what that means. That's for editing, that's for inserting stuff. You have this, uh, I'm not sure what all this is. That's something to do with editing text files, whereas this is something to do with setting up STEC. This thing is port forwarding problems this is something to do with git checkouts and things and I, I don't have no idea oh I don't know can I go back and look at my output yeah, you can look at your tech output in here. There are multiple. Default editors available for the resource. Configure default. Keep LaTeX workshop internal PDF viewer. I guess the default you were configuring was for code, BS code, not for, see it's still running and now it's, it's been 10 minutes. You can look at a terminal, no, I don't know, uh, just run top in it, and you can see that code is taking up 30% of the CPU, Java is here, 
running Java code. This whole thing works through some kind of um, local port to provide a server that, via which I don't know. I don't know what happens. This this opens a, a I think an HTTP or HTTPS socket on a local server running. Maybe it's a Java server. Um, I, I I don't know. I I don't have any details of the the architecture of this thing from the software point of view. Um, I haven't found anything. So there we there we go. Save what? Well, what are you saving? What is the state that you're saving? I mean, oh, what a nightmare. If you close the folder, everything goes quiet. Open the folder again. These come up. Initializing Rust Tech. Maybe maybe that's what the Java server does. It 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 it, it invokes Rustech and builds files and things, so that VS Code can look at the output. And now we're back to that again, indexing files. So there you go. Florin is too much knowledge to manage, or something like this. Something's gone wrong with MMT.